This video describes the actions you should take when you hook a pelican or other bird while fishing. Only attempt this rescue if you're able and comfortable doing so. If you are not able to rescue the bird yourself, do not just cut the line. Instead, open the Seabird Rehabilitators and Transporters app on your phone to find the closest contact to your location who can help or advise you. They will probably ask you to remain with the bird until help can arrive. If you're in a situation where you cannot reach a rescuer or they cannot reach you, and if you're comfortable doing so, you can rescue the bird by yourself performing the steps shown in this video. When you realize you've hooked a bird, enlist others for assistance if possible. Before you begin, both rescuers should take steps to protect themselves. Wear protective eyewear and take extra care to protect yourself when handling long-billed wading birds or hook-billed birds such as cormorants. If the line is just wrapped around the bird's wing or body, let the line out a bit and perhaps the bird will untangle itself and fly away. But if that doesn't work, reel the bird in as quickly and evenly as you can being careful not to cause further injury. Don't try to shake the bird loose by jerking the line. It will inflict additional injury to the bird. If fishing from a pier, make sure that the bird remains on the water until a net, such as a hoop net, can be used to lift it onto the pier. Birds reeled up onto piers can be seriously injured or can potentially damage fishing equipment. Firmly grasp the bird's head behind the eyes. Then fold the wings up gently but firmly against the bird's body so that it can't flap its wings and hold the legs. Hold firmly but don't strangle the bird. If it is a pelican, you can hold the beak but keep the beak slightly open so the bird can breathe. Cover the bird's head and eyes with a towel, hat, shirt, or other cloth. If the bird can't see, the bird will be more calm and make it easier for you to remove the line and or hook. Remove the hook by cutting the barb and backing the hook out, while being very careful to not cut or bend the bird's feathers. If the barb is embedded in the bird's flesh, push the hook through until the barb emerges from the skin and then clip the barb. When cutting the barb, be careful to protect your eyes from the snapping metal. If the bird is entangled in line, use scissors, clippers, or a knife to gently cut the line. Before you release the bird, carefully check the bird over for other hooks or line and remove them too. Many times the bird will have several hooks stuck in its wings or body. If the bird is feisty, it's likely healthy enough to release. Point its head towards the water and step back while you release the bird. Let the bird take off on its own. Never throw the bird. Sometimes birds shake their feathers out assess the situation, and then are ready to fly. Other times, they just take off. Either way, this represents a successful release. If the bird doesn't fly or seems weak, use the Seabird Rehabilitators app to contact a bird rehabilitation hospital. One last important step, clean up. Cut braided line into small, less than three inch pieces and place in a lidded trash can along with hooks and any other debris. Place monofilament only into marked monofilament recycling tubes. Note that not all visible injuries require rehabilitation. In this example, the rescuer removed a hook from the bird's foot and then noticed a hole in its pouch. This hole, however, was healing well and did not show signs of infection, so she was able to release it. For additional information on avoiding catching birds, never feeding seabirds and pelicans, and releasing them if they accidentally become entangled, go to the FWC Unhook website at myfwc.com unhook, where you can also download the FWC Pelican Rescue brochure. Thank you for helping us keep healthy populations of birds, especially pelicans, in the wild forever.